Our final keynote speaker here at Link Up Live is Richard Crompton, Chief Constable for Lincolnshire. Now, Richard, you've been explaining how really it's a culture change within Lincolnshire Police, and you are embracing Twitter and social media now, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it's a culture change right across the country uh, in policing, and it's amazing how quickly it's happening. But yeah, I suppose my main point today, or a couple of points. First of all, if, you, if you're going to be successful in policing, you've got to be in touch with the community that you're here to serve. And this is a fantastic way of improving you know, that contact, improving the engagement with communities. Uh, second point, actually, it's good for leadership as well, because the same, same um, criteria apply, applies. The more open you are, are, the more accessible you are, I think anyway, uh, the more successful you're going to be as a leader. Now this is not just you as a Chief Constable, it's from PCSO, from Special Constable level, Absolutely. all the way up. Are, are they getting any special guidance or, or training in using social media? Sure, you're, you're, you're absolutely right, and in fact it would be disastrous if it was just me. Um, you know, I'm not saying I do it very well, I probably don't. The main reason I went on Twitter in the first place was because I wanted to make it okay for you know, people in, 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 in the police, people in my organisation, to do the same because you know there is this cultural nervousness uh, uh, about doing it so yeah from PCSO special constables I've got detectives uh, inspectors people of all ranks members of support staff they're all doing it is there a rule book um, it's a pretty short one uh, which is you know be sensible uh, don't say uh, inappropriate um, things you know you are professional but at the same time you can you can have a laugh you can just be human um, uh, it, but being sensible is, is, the, is, the, is the main rule. Now, I can see a situation possibly where someone is trying to help out solving a crime but perhaps further down the line that piece of evidence might not have, uh, well, shouldn't have gone out to the public. How, how do you tackle things like that? Sure, you, you, you're quite right. I mean, I've concentrated, I guess, today on talking about the social engagement uh, part of, uh, of social media. But there are many different levels in policing uh, where social media can be used. And, of course, the investigation of serious crime is uh, one of them. And that's where you do have to have a few rules. Uh, and, and people have got to be really clear about how it should be used, what they can uh, put out on a, on a Twitter account or in, in, in terms of, uh, of social media. Uh, the truth is, you know, people will make mistakes uh, from time to time. And we've, we've had a chat today about, you know, some of the mistakes that people have made. My point would be, you've got to learn from your mistakes you, you, you can't prevent this from happening, so we need to embrace it, we need to make uh, use of it, accept that from time to time, you know, we're going to make the wrong move, just learn from that. I've got to ask this, because I've seen some quite dumb criminals mm -hmm. on Facebook and on Twitter, <laughs> they do have a tendency to brag a little bit, don't they, now and again. Just now, so wi without naming <laughs> names... <laughs> Can you sort of give us a, an example perhaps of uh, what's been an easy bust for you on social media? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, you're quite right. People do boast about their, their misdeeds on their Facebook sites or, 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 or whatever. And I couldn't tell you how many times people have, have ended up uh, arrested as a resort. I should, imagine, I should imagine now literally hundreds of times. Uh, I, I'll, I'll refer to one thing in particular that I do know about distinctly. One of my other interests uh, in ACPO, in, 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 the, in the sort of police world, is in relation to wildlife crime. Um, and uh, we have used... Uh, social media to prosecute people who have um, filmed their cruelty to badgers, badger baiting. Uh, they filmed it, you know, very proud of what they've done, horrific crimes, and they've put it on to YouTube. Uh, they've put it on their Facebook uh, site. You know, it doesn't take Clouseau to, uh, well, not Clouseau, it doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to, uh, to, to, to solve that. So yeah, people, people can be uh, pretty dumb when it comes to that. Well, I have to say, pretty dumb, but also very cruel and a well-deserved nicking there. Yeah. Richard, thank you very much for time. Thank you for coming to uh, Link Up Live, and hopefully we'll see you in the future. Thanks thank so you. Much. Thank you.